Hello everyone, thank you for joining our webinar today. I appreciate your presence and I hope everyone's uh, safe and keeping well. Mm -hmm. I'm Milakshay Sundaram, one of the product marketers for Zoho World and I'll be moderating today's session. We have a couple of guests joining us for this session. First, I'd like to introduce Deepak, our product architect. Hello Deepak, thanks for joining. Hello Milakshay, thank you for being here. Thank you Deepak. And next we have Adnan from Seema Text with us. Adnan is the product lead for log agent and log integrations at Seema Text. So Seema Text is one of the leading observability platforms on the market today. And with Seema Text you can detect and troubleshoot all your performance and security issues with logs, metrics, uh, synthetic and real user monitoring as well. So we're really glad to have you join us for the session today Adnan. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to be here. All right, so it's going to be an exciting 45 minutes and I request everyone to keep the session engaging by shooting your questions to any of our panelists at any moment. So with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so we'll begin today's session with a quick introduction to Zoho World for all our new users. Then we'll see why it's important for every business uh, to audit password actions. We'll then focus on what CM is all about and why integrating Zoho World with a security incident and event management system would be beneficial for all of our users. And as always, we'll be answering all your questions at the end. So please don't hesitate to post your questions as and when you feel so. Okay, let's begin. Now Zoho World is an in-house password manager from Zoho. Some of you might already be using Zoho Vault and would be familiar with it as well. So here's a quick recap for all of our new users. So with Zoho Vault, you can securely store your passwords without worries as they're encrypted on the client side with military grade AES-256 encryption. And in addition to your web credentials, uh, Vault also secures all your sensitive data like your bank account, healthcare details, server credentials, SSH key certificates and a lot more. You can even secure your critical documents and notes with Vault. And sharing passwords with Vault is also easy and extremely secure uh, because you can share your passwords with one of four different permissions like uh, one-click login privilege, uh, which restricts users from viewing passwords in plain text and allows them to only log in and access the accounts without viewing the passwords. And there are different permissions like view and edit, which will allow you to view and edit your passwords accordingly. And uh, there's also the other permission called manage, which allows you to give complete control of a password to a colleague or a different user. So uh, just ensure that you share your passwords with the right privilege to your uh, different employees and users. Next, you can also directly log into your web accounts with a single click using our browser extensions, meaning you no longer have to uh, enter your credentials manually while authenticating with your online account. And similarly, Vault also supports single sign-on for various applications, which simplifies your authentication process even further. And you can add or remove multiple users as and when required to your Zoho Vault account, uh, which simplifies user management. So let's say an employee leaves the company on bad terms, you can immediately acquire all business passwords owned by them and revoke their access to Vault. So this prevents uh, any anyone who's not part of your organization from accessing any of your business critical details. So when you cut somebody out of your enterprise, that's that's when you just uh, revoke revoke their access and keep your enterprise uh, detailed, safe, and secure. And you can also customize Vault to specify what features your organization does and doesn't require. Say for example, Vault allows you to save your personal passwords and business passwords in the same Vault. So as an admin, if you think you wouldn't want uh, your users to save their personal passwords in Vault, you can do so. Or if you want to implement IP restriction uh, in Vault, you can do that as well. So there are a lot of customization options available in Vault. And finally, you can also access multiple visual reports that detail user activity in Vault. So for example, you can look up a particular individual's activity um, and see all the passwords that they regularly access. And uh, you can also monitor the weak passwords and the unchanged passwords in your organization. So uh, when you get a clear idea of how passwords are being used and managed in Zoho Vault, you can implement strict uh, password policies accordingly and that will just prevent users from saving any weak passwords in your account. So yeah, there's a lot you can do with Vault. Now let's just move on and, and see how secure your data would be with Zoho Vault. So if you try to see how secure Zoho Vault is before trusting us with your sensitive data, 
So you should know that the whole world follows the host to hosting concept. So this ensures that all confidential data get encrypted and decrypted on the client side with AES 256 encryption using the user's master password. So this master password is something that is known just to the user. So even Zoho has no access to the data that you store. Meaning nobody except you can actually decrypt the data that you store in Vault. And uh, the encrypted data is securely transmitted over TLS and stored in Zoho servers. And we also have multiple data centers across the globe to help comply with the privacy policies across different regions. Uh, say for example, an EU user can sign up to Vault from Zoho.eu slash Vault and the data would automatically reside only in the EU data centers. And similarly, you can also choose a data center of your preference to keep your uh, uh, business compliant with all the region, regional laws with Zoho Vault, I mean, using Zoho Vault. Now, it's also notable to know that Zoho Vault is also GDPR compliant. All right, so we just quickly saw an overview of Zoho Vault earlier. And uh, now you would know that a password manager simplifies password management for your business. Its capabilities just do not stop there. Say, for example, every business manages multiple or uh, sensitive logins, most of which must only be accessed by a restricted list of personnel, right? Well, uh, who will be using these while performing um, major business critical tasks. So this could be uh, the login detail of, um, of, of your uh, server, a payment service detail, a social media account, or any login that could be of primary importance for your uh, business, right? So given the sensitivity of these logins, they must be audited in real time. So this is because access to critical systems by unauthorized personnel or even excessive access for authorized uh, employees might increase the risk of insider threats for your business. And it's not just about critical passwords alone, right? Every business login must be monitored and protected at all costs to avoid um, uh, any type of uh, insider threats or risking your business data to the outside world. Because insider threats primarily uh, attribute to approximately around 30% of all data breaches. And also recent reports state that one insider attack could potentially cause 10 times the harm of an external attack. So keeping all this in mind, it's essential that every business uh, would, would closely monitor all passwords and other business data access by their employees. So more, more than ever, it's, it's of high importance now since majority of world's workforce is working from remote locations, right? So we're all working from different parts of our uh, state or city, and it's it's not easy to implement tight security constraints when your workforce is spread across your country or your city, right? So yeah, so let's let's just move on to see how Vault tackles this in our own system. So to help businesses tackle the situations in Vault, we have real-time audits that record every sensitive action performed by our users, and all, all critical actions performed on passwords, folders, users, user groups, and other miscellaneous activities are diligently tracked under our audit section. So these audits are tamper-proof and can never be deleted by any admin or super admin. Similarly, super admins of Vault can also track all audits accessed by any other admin from the super audit section. So we've got you pretty much covered there. And moving on, in the next uh, slide you'll see, in addition to audits, admins can also configure custom alerts to be triggered from Vault as and when any critical action gets performed. So uh, let's say for example, admins uh, set up alerts whenever uh, a business password is either deleted, or modified, or shared with other users. Admins can configure alerts in such a way that they get instantly notified of these events or if they're okay with getting these alerts on a periodic manner, say once every day or once every week, they can set the alerts in such a way as well. So these alerts will be sent to the inbox of respective users or admins to get their immediate attention on all these critical activities. So now you might think, okay, I already have all these activities covered through um, the inbuilt functions of Vault, and while, while we already give you different options that you can utilize from Vault's inbuilt system, the uh, uh, the reason for ACM integration is that it will help you track over 150 events from Vault. It will help you get deeper insights on all the actions that are being performed on your account in addition to whatever you've just seen uh, under the alert notification section. So we have only a handful of options 
that you can get notified right now. But with the CM integration, you can not just get notified whenever critical events happen. You can actually um, analyze all all the activities that are going on in your account, and you can also see uh, all the actions that are being performed in in a pictorial manner. Many CM services have a beautiful dashboard that you can utilize. You can also see different uh, uh, other tools and how performance in that particular tool can affect activities going on in your vault account and a lot more. So we'll be talking about all of that in detail. But before we see more on that, let's just first take a closer look at what CM is all about and why your business should probably consider adopting uh, one of the CM services if you don't have one already. And to talk about all of that in detail, I'll let Adnan take over from me. So Adnan, all yours. You can go ahead and you know take over from here. Thanks a lot. Um, so yes, yeah, I'm here to tell you a bit about uh, CM. So let's let's start slow. Um, first of all, on the next slide, I want to give you a brief overview. Um, I want to give you a brief overview. So. I want to tell you what CM actually stands for, and it stands for Security Information and Event Management. Now, it kind of says from the name what it is, but uh, quite a simple explanation is that it just gives you insight and a track record of all activities within your infrastructure. Uh, so this can be like infrastructure networks, anything, anything that's inside of your whole IT environment, right? Um, and th then the, the point is that CM it has been in existence for more than a decade, but it actually evolved from log management. And this is a key thing now, because if we move on to the next slide, I want to tell you why. And here you can see that CM actually evolved from two things. Um, first of all, it, it uh, uses SEM, which basically stands for Security Event Management. And with that, you can analyze log events and data in real time to provide threat monitoring, event correlation, and incident response. Now, you pair that with SIM, which stands for Security Information Management, that collects and analyzes uh, log data, and based on that, creates reports. Now, if we jump up over to the next slide, I want to tell you how this works. Now, uh, CM software it basically collects and aggregates log data, and then it generates that throughout the whole IT infrastructure. Now, you can collect that from systems, from applications, from networks, from, from security devices, from basically anything, right? So you collect those logs from all of these devices and infrastructure. Now, all of these logs, they contain sensitive information, right? Uh, the point behind a, a, a CM tool is to identify and categorize these incidents, meaning that it lets you analyze them and do something actually useful with that info. Now, on the next slide, let me tell you a bit about the objectives. Now, there are two main objectives of every CM tool, um, and they are reports and alerts. So reports, what are reports? Well, they provide security-related incidents and events, such as, um, let's say, failed logins or malware activity, basically any malicious activities. And then alerts, well, you actually need to send alerts in case of potential security issues so that you can fix them. Now, these two main things are what CM actually you know, stands for, the main objectives of CM. Now, on the next slide, you'll see a, a set of tools that you can use for CM. Now, there are several tools to choose from. Um, they all have their pros and cons, and I think you should choose the tool that fits you the best. And ideally, such a tool would offer observability and other tools that fit into what you need. Now, uh, to talk a bit more about tools and integrations, I'll let Deepak continue, and then I'll jump back in uh, a bit later. Thank you, Edmund. Thank you for the very brief introduction on the CM. So I think that perfectly sets things up for me because I'm going to talk about why the CM integration would be of much value to our Zoho Vault users. So just a few moments ago, we saw how Vault already helps admins keep a close eye on all the activities that happen in their organization's account. Now we'll be seeing how you can leverage the existing mechanism and track your business log in an even better manner. So Vault audits an array of events that happen across passwords, folders, users, and user groups that you manage along with an additional list of 
vitreous activity. With the CM integration, you can leverage these existing least list of events by securely transmitting them to a CM service of your choice. The CM service acts as a centralized place from where you can you, your logs can be processed and analyzed in detail. Based on the requirements and the criticality of these events, you can configure customized alerts to get notified accordingly. So that's not all. You also get to experience various other benefits, which we'll talk about. So uh, we'll talk about the benefits of integrating Zoho Vault with CM services. So while Vault already covers you with custom email alerts, the list of operations you can receive alerts for your for uh, from the CM services is a lot more than compared to our inbuilt alerting system. You can configure log for over 150 events from Vault to be sent to your CM service. So once you configure the events you wish to monitor, you get a set of free access to all your logs from Vault in one place. A lot of CM services have customized dashboards that you allow that allow you to identify and isolate different activities trends and patterns easy. Also, when all your business tools are integrated with your CM service, you get extensive insights on email and threats that can be nipped in the bud. For example, if a certain user continues to share business passwords with external or unauthorized users over a period of time, you can keep a close eye on them and address the issue immediately. So this paves way for easy monitoring of all sensitive happenings in your organization's world. Next is the ability to build the custom reports based on different sets of criteria like severity and periodicity of the event, for example, makes an admin's life a lot more easier. Another benefit of integrating over our default alerting system would be the ability to track the history of an alert. So meaning you can trace previous occurrences of uh, similar issues in instance and giving you a complete picture of the event. And finally, you won't have to access Vault every time just to view your audits. So you can track these actions efficiently at any time using your mobile devices, which would mean a lot less time spent authenticating with Vault when you access your audits next time. So now to share some in-depth details on the CM integration and also how uh, the benefits and the, the solution like Symmetrix works, I'll let Edmund take over the session. Admin. Thank you. Yep, on the next slide, I'll tell you a bit more about the benefits of CM. Now, I'll start a bit slow uh, so we can have a brief intro. And on the next slide, you'll see that uh, I made a breakdown of how CM ties into DevOps. Now, when you're thinking about this, uh, to understand like the benefits of CM, uh, to understand those, I need to explain a bit about DevOps and how that fits into the picture uh, in you know the world today. And uh, I think that engineers face new challenges with the rise of DevOps because companies are looking to their, to their DevOps teams to secure production environments. I mean, this this means working with cloud services, containers, microservices. These are all new things, right? Um, this this whole new uh, movement has caused a paradigm shift because we don't really use monoliths anymore. Um, this means that we have new tools to manage, and this is directly related to the things we have to know and we have to learn. So, I mean, finally, when you think about it, the time of the on-prem monolith is coming to an end, and more companies are moving to the cloud, and this increases complexity. So you need to know how to figure out the pros and cons and make a calculated choice. Now, uh, moving on to the next slide. I also want to tell you a bit about the tool chain. So where does DevOps fit into CM and vice versa? Well, we have this new term sliding into the DevOps dictionary. Uh, maybe you've heard it, maybe not, but it's it's called DevSecOps, meaning that it's, it's DevOps, but it's with security. Now, it may sound a bit funny or it may sound a bit, you know, unnecessary, but I th actually think it's a, it's a cool thing um, because this new standard, uh, it embeds security right into the DevOps tool chain. And that's, I think that's the way it should be. I mean, it makes perfect sense when you think about it because, I mean, DevOps, DevOps teams, they handle infrastructure, they handle reliability, they handle uptime, and I think security should be a part of that cycle. 
Um, and with this new standard, again, come new challenges. Um, the main challenges are that you have to stay in touch with all of the tooling that you need, but you also have to keep yourself up to date, meaning you have to learn new things as they come, and you have to stay up to date with all of the security challenges that, that this means. Um, and on the next slide, I want to give you a few tips. Um, first of all, uh, this whole section, I want to wrap it up with some concrete things that you can remember and then you can learn for yourself. Um, and those are, what, why do you want to use CM? I mean, first of all, it gives you a central hub for your data. Uh, it will always be the absolute source of truth for your data. And you have a single source of truth. Now, this is a very, very powerful thing. Because this means that it's 100% sure that the data you have is valid and that it's centralized. And it's crucial that you make sure of this, right? And secondly, you don't want to have any silos because if you have silos, you can't navigate through your log data quickly. So you want to navigate through the data quickly for, for, so you can have optimal incident management. This means that you can actually navigate in between your tools and have the data flow freely between those tools. And this is where the key lies. You have to have flexibility when you're doing things like these. And this is why I think these are the main benefits of, of using CM and using DevOps tools for that. Now, on the next slide, uh, we're moving on. And I'm going to just run you by a quick integration with the Zoho Vault with uh, Semtex. Now, on the next slide, um, I'll just run you through quickly a bit about uh, Semtex and what, uh, what we do. Um, to keep it short, um, I work at Semotex and we do observability. So we're basically an observability platform. And to, I mean, that basically means we help you detect and fix, fix issues with your apps so you can build better products. Uh, it was founded 10 years ago, and it's fully bootstrapped and profitable, just like Zoho. So we have that in common, which is super cool. Uh, our whole team is also fully remote, as, as you guys are as well. So I'm actually in a hot tub recording this. Uh, no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It would be really cool if I was, but yeah, I'm not. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's enough about that. Let me jump into the uh, the actual demo and show you how Semotex works with uh, Zoho Vault. Now, uh, once you have your account in Semotex, uh, you go ahead and create a new logs app, and from there, from there you name the app and you go ahead and create it. And you can think of an app as literally being just a bucket for your data for your logs. So it's just a central place where you can keep all of your logs. Now, on the next slide, uh, you will pick the integrations. And in the integration screen, you just copy the host name and index and keep them safe, because uh, you'll need these two uh, to add to your Zoho Vault config to actually uh, forward the, uh, the audit logs. Now, on the next slide, I just want to uh, run you by configuring the summer text inside of Zoho Vault. Now, you jump to the CM integrations from your settings, and inside of the settings, uh, you will go ahead and click this tiny, uh, is this a wrench? Yeah, tiny wrench button, and you'll add the host name and the token. Now, this token is the index. Uh, it's all the same. Uh, you go ahead and save the config, and once you save the config, you can access your Zoho Vault logs from Semitex directly. Now, uh, this will start forwarding all of the logs Everything that goes on in Zoho Vault will actually be forwarded to this uh, logs app inside of Samatex. Now, on the next slide, you'll see a, a picture of that as well. Sweet. Now, uh, on the next slide, you, once you open up the, uh, the app itself, you'll see a set of dashboards for those logs. There well, now, the cool thing about these dashboards are that uh, you get a few out of the box, but you can also add in Custom reports, custom components. You can you have this uh, default uh, filtering. You have the default full text search, so you can search through your logs and filter them basically by anything. You can also add in search queries, save them. You can add in alerts. So let's say that you have uh, uh, a delete password event. So let's say somebody deletes the password, and you want to get alerted every time that happens. You can uh, add in the search query you want to search for. You add in an alert based on that search query, and you'll get an email every time that happens. Or you can use Slack, you can use any other notification system you want. But uh, that, this is the power 
where you have a centralized system and then you can get out alerts based on errors that happen in this central location. Now, on the next slide, I also want to tell you a bit about the uh, audit events. Now, once you click on this Manage CSL Configuration button, you can uh, actually choose the events you want to audit. Now, uh, honestly, I would I would uh, suggest you keep all of these enabled uh, because you can always filter these out later on in the dashboards. Um, and generally, this will never really uh, take up that much ingestion volume, so I think you're going to be more than fine keeping all of these enabled. Of course, you can disable them if you don't need them, um, but that's another story based on your use case. Now, oh, on the next screen, um, I'm going to hand it back over to Deepak to finish off. Yeah. Thank you, Edwin. Thank you for the quick overview. So now, now uh, let me quickly run through the integration step for the other services as well. So we'll start with the integration with the Logly. So now, uh, log into your Logly account and select source setup from the menu bar. Now on the next screen, select customer tokens from the submenu. A customer token will be created by default. So you can copy this uh, token that will be used later by the configuring the Zoho vault. And uh, so uh, in the next, next screen, you will see collector host name and source setup. Then you just click on the HTTPS event endpoint. So by default, you will see this uh, endpoint log cycle 01 com. So you can copy this and if you have modified it, you can find the current URL from the field highlighted in the screenshot. Now that we have collected the details, let's uh, put them into the vault. So log into your Zoho Vault account as a super admin, then select settings. Under the sims integration, you can edit configuration under the logly. Then enter the collector host name and token details that we collected uh, from the previous Slides. So click on the save configuration. So this completes the integration and now the uh, Zoho Vault will start sending your logs to this Logly. You can access your Zoho Vault logs from Logly uh, by following these steps. So log into your Logly account, click search, then search for the logs from Vault based on the time and date of the operation. So now let's see how you can configure Zoho Vault with Sumo Logic. So log into your Sumo Logic account and select Manage Data. From here, select Collections and then click Add Collector. Select Hosted Collector as the collector type and in the next scene, enter a name and then click Save. So select Add Source corresponding to the newly created Create Collector and select HTTP Logs and Matrices. Enter a name for the source and then click Save. So the copy, uh, the generated URL, and then this will be used later for configuring the details in the vault. So to configure Zoho Vault, you can follow the same steps. Similarly, you can go to the settings, then CM integration. Just click the configuration icon against Sumo Logic, and then save configuration. So this will complete the configuration. You will start seeing your uh, blocks from vault to in Sumo Logic. So to see the logs, just log into your Sumo Logic account, select Manage Data, then click Collection. From here, you can select Open in Log Search from the newly created source to view the logs from Vault. So next is uh, how we integrate Vault with Logs.io. So log into your account and select Send Your Data from the menu bar. And after doing so, select Libraries and then Bulk HTTP slash S. So under the URL for HTTPS, you'll find the collector host name. Copy the host name as shown on your screen. And by default, uh, this host name is listener.logs.io. And under query string parameters, you'll find the token details. So co copy this token from the description as well. Now, to configure these details in the Zoho board, again, go to settings, CM integration, click on the configuration icon. Put in the details that we have collected from logs.io and click save. Now to view these details into the logs.io, log into your logs.io account, select Kibana to view the logs based on the time and date of the operation. Now to integrate Zoho Vault with Timber, log into your account, then select sources, click add a new source, then select protocols. 
select HTTP API and under the HTTP API settings, enter the source name and then click next. Now it will generate a source ID and API key. You can just copy these and keep for configuring in Zoho Vault. So we go again to the Zoho Vault settings, CM integration, and then configure these details for logs.io and click save configuration. So this will uh, finish the settings for this. You will start seeing your logs. So now next is uh, accessing Zoho Vault logs on the timber to do this just log into your timber account and then um, just then select console select the source name specified earlier from the drop box and view the log from what based on the time and date of the operations now to integrate reflect 7 with bot log into your account then select add data under the system data Select the hook, enter a name under the log name and log set, then click add new log. Copy the token details from the field before you before you click on the apply button and the host name details from the highlighted section that you see on your screen, then click done. So that's it. You have configured rapid seven. So now uh, to put in these details, you can follow the same steps. Go to the CM integration, click on the configuration icon and just Put in these details and click save. To access the Zoho Bot logs from the 7, you can log into your Rapid 7 account, then select log search to view the logs based on the time and date of the operation. So this is how you configure various uh, CM service providers in Zoho Vault yeah. and integrate them. So this is all for today. Now we'll be just uh, opening up our session for the Q&A. So you, are, you just feel free to post as many questions as you like. And I would like Inakshi Sundaram to take over the session. Thank you so much, Adnan and Deepak, for the quick overview of today's session. So I think that would have been really helpful for all our, uh, all our attendees today. So guys, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, drop them on the Q&A section that you find uh, on your Soho meeting uh, desktop app or your web app or your uh, a mobile application. So quick, uh, a quick roundup from my side. So the same integration will be available for all users of Zoho One and all users of Zoho One's Enterprise Edition. So this is something that you would probably want to know. So that's one thing. If you've got any questions related to CM or how it works with Vault or any question related to CM in general or uh, any queries that you still have that, that you still can't get from this session, you can just post them on the Q&A section. We've got Adnan and Deepak to take up all your questions. So yeah, feel free to do so. So yeah, guys, you can just go ahead and ask your questions. We've got our experts waiting for your questions. Also, I'd like to know if all, all of uh, you guys out there, uh, if, if you already have uh, integrated or if, if you already have a CM solution that you use for your business or if you are opting for a new solution right now I'd like to know about that as well if you can post about that that will be great that will make, make the session a little interactive as well maybe while you guys do that uh, Atan do you want to address any anything else uh, right now do you have anything else for the audience that you want to quickly share well, I mean, I think I covered pretty much everything. Um, if you guys have any questions regarding uh, tooling or anything else, uh, both CM or non-CM related, I'm, I'm happy to answer any questions. Okay. Thank you, Adnan. Thank you so much. Thank you. And guys, uh, the recording of the session will be available for all of you. So even if your teammates have missed out on joining the session, we'll be sending a copy of this recording uh, to everyone that's registered to this session. So yeah, you can feel free to share the recording with your teammates and your uh, friends or anybody you wish to share it with. So yeah, if you guys do not have any questions, we'll be quickly wrapping up the session. We'll just probably wait for another couple minutes before we close the session. All right then, so I guess there's no questions from your side. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for joining the session. And my special thanks to Adnan and John from Seema Text who took took some time to join us on the session and give some insights 
on CM. So thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. This was this was lovely being here. Thank you, Arnav. And again, thank you, Deepak, as well for joining us on the session. And I think we'll wrap up the session with that. Thank you so much, guys. If you have any questions, you can still reach out to us on supportedzohaworld dot com, and we will get all your questions addressed. Thank you so much. So let's quickly meet again on another webinar sometime soon. Thank you, guys. Have a great day.